Hello and welcome to my channel, Things I Buy, where I review, you guessed it, Things I Buy. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sony Wireless Noise Cancelling Stereo Headset. The model number is the WIC600N. It will work with your uh, Google Assistant, as you see on the thing over here. So it has like a voice activated Google Assistant and it looks like it has six and a half hours of music time. You'll notice it says made for iPhone slash iPad in a nice big box, a tiny little Android logo there. So uh, if you're wondering if Sony is an Apple or an Android fan, well, I guess we just figured it out. So we're gonna see what comes in the box. Um, and then I'm actually gonna cut the video come back in a couple of weeks after using it and we'll do a full review. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon um, as a, a Black Friday deal. They had it on for uh, $69.99 Canadian. So we're just gonna pull this up. Looks like there's a little black box that everything comes in. And then this is the presentation. You're gonna see it before I do. What do you think? Is it nice? Did, 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 did they do a good job? Is it is it fancy? Oh yeah, it looks kind of cool, except I was showing it the wrong way. Here you go. So that's the uh, presentation there. Uh, the reason why I purchased these is because I recently purchased a Google Pixel 4 XL, so I don't have uh, my traditional headphones don't plug in anymore. I need to get something that was wireless. Um, I tend to lose wireless earbuds, which is why I don't have them. But then I saw these, and so basically this little neck piece here wraps around your neck. So I don't know, because we haven't opened it yet, if it comes with other earbuds that go in, but it uh, the ones that are on here feel pretty comfortable for my ear. So just gonna show you up close here what the buds look like. You see the Sony emblem there. This piece, you can, it feels kind of rubbery. You see how I, I, I'm holding it in one place here, but I, I can still kind of move this piece. So it's kind of, it's got this kind of like rubbery feel to it. It looks like there's a power button here with a volume up, volume down and a play and pause. I think this button is the one to turn on the noise cancellation, but we'll find out after using it. So it's got a charger there. I believe it is a USB-C, which is always nice. Definitely a USB-C charger. And then it looks like it does come with some uh, extra earbuds. And then there's instructions, but like, I'm a guy, so like, I'm never gonna read those. And then there's some warranty information. I'll probably buy new ones before they go bad. We're gonna pause the video now. I'm gonna come back in a couple weeks, which for you is gonna be in a couple seconds. And if you like this style of video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I plan on uploading videos about once a month. Toss me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and we'll see you in a second. So now that I've used the Sony WIC600N for a couple of weeks, I just wanted to come back and talk to you guys about my experience. Now, I'm not gonna go in, I'm not gonna deep dive into the specifications uh, for the product itself. You can check that out on the website. What I'm gonna talk about is my real world experience. I also took the time to check out some other reviews of people that have reviewed this product, and I wrote down some of the questions that people were asking in the comments, and I noticed that they were not answered. In this video, I'm gonna answer other people's questions uh, in the comments of those review videos. One of the questions someone asked was, has anyone tried them on a PS4 and have they had any success connecting it? Uh, I did go ahead and try and connect it to my PS4. I found that it did pick it up as a Bluetooth device that exists, but then it also did say that Bluetooth devices are not supported by PS4. A little pop-up came up saying that. I then tried connecting it directly to the PS4 to see if it'll somehow pair that way or at least function if you wanted to have a nice long cable uh, to where you're sitting in your gaming chair or couch or whatever you're playing PS4 um, and just I guess have it plugged in it's not really wireless I guess but I just wanted to see if it's directly plugged in maybe if it'll take over for audio but it didn't so that answers that question uh, another question that was asked was is there any lag while watching video I do watch a ton of YouTube uh, with these in there's absolutely no lag when watching videos uh, unlike in my car when I have uh, if, I, if I'm sitting there in a parking lot watching a video and my phone is connected to Bluetooth there definitely is lag in my car's Bluetooth watching videos on the phone so I have experienced Bluetooth lag but you do not get Bluetooth lag using these earbuds the next question was does it vibrate upon receiving calls and the answer to that is no I have received calls through this uh, it does not vibrate if you have your phone on vibrate your phone will vibrate but these do not vibrate to let you know that the uh, call is coming in if I remember correctly either you hear a ring or it tells you that there's an incoming call or something like that if you're in the middle of watching a YouTube video it'll actually pause the video and show you on your screen 
uh, on your phone that you're getting a phone call and that will prompt you that there is a call coming in. Another question that was asked in the comments was how is the base on these and I definitely find that there is base but it's not uh, it's not a crazy amount of bass, you know, if you're still in your younger years and you're into that uh, heavy bass like I was in my uh, teenage years into my early 20s, it, it's not the, the headset for you in terms of bass. I put on some heavy bass hip hop rap type songs as well as some uh, electronica techno, uh, whatever the kids call it these days, uh, and I did find that certain styles of music you do hear the bass a little bit better but it's just not a bass heavy uh, ear earbud it does have bass though and for me it's enough i don't uh, i don't need that eardrum shattering bass that the youngsters uh, want so if you're looking for a headset that just has a very nice sound quality has a little bit of bass isn't super extremely loud uh, then this is for you i mean it's loud enough that uh, if someone tries to talk to me when I have the volume all the way up, I cannot hear them at all. It is loud, it's just not super loud to the point where, well, like I like to call it, you know, <laughs> eardrum shattering loudness. Someone asked in the comments, how is the call quality? The call quality on this device uh, is actually pretty good. I don't really hear a difference between having a conversation with this as well as having a conversation just on the phone itself. So it actually does have really good call quality. There isn't any audio crippling static or anything like that. Another question that came out of the, the comments from previous reviews was how is the noise cancellation for this device uh, and how is it on an airplane? Uh, now I actually haven't been on an airplane since I've purchased these so I can't answer that question. Uh, I was gonna play like a like an airplane simulation sound and, and play that for you guys and put it in my ears and see if it's um you know see if that does anything but i just feel like it's not this it's just not the same uh, and that would just be cheating uh the answer for you guys and not necessarily accurate so i'm gonna skip that one uh but uh you know i will answer that in the comments below the next time I go on a flight, I'll just kind of do a follow-up pin comment or something to let you guys know uh, how it did with noise cancelling. Previous to these ones, I did actually have a Bose, some Bose earbuds, uh, and those are the ones where the noise cancellation piece actually has a little uh, box on it that controls the noise cancellation. And with those ones, I found that as soon as I turned the noise cancellation on, I almost felt like this pressure in my ears, like you hear this kind of almost like a pop and it just, um, I don't know how to describe the feeling if you've never had noise cancelling headphones to that effect. Uh, it is a little bit disorienting uh, at first, but then you kind of get used to it. And uh, I found that with these ones, you don't get that kind of pressure in the ears when you turn the ambient noise cancellation on. I also found that it's definitely not as effective as the Bose ones that I had. So there definitely is a difference with the ambient noise cancellation on, but it's not to the point of it completely uh, blacks out all other noise in the background. So if you are listening on low volume with the noise cancellation on, my guess is you are probably going to hear some ambient noise from an airplane. You are going to hear conversations in the background. But if you have it at at least a medium with noise cancellation on, you probably won't hear anything. If that answers that question, I hope. And then what I just really want to talk about is how my experience has been like on these headphones. So I found that the the buttons and everything like that are pretty easy to use. There have there was some complaints uh, of people saying that they're having some trouble with you know, knowing where they're clicking or whatever. But after using it for a few weeks, I, I found it really easy to figure everything out. So on the right hand side, you have the noise cancellation button. Uh, you just press that and it will uh, turn the ambient noise on. It'll actually, a little voice will come on that say ambient noise uh, cancellation is on and that's how you'll know that it is on outside of the, of course, experience difference. And on the left-hand side, you just have a volume up and down button as well as a power button. And then there is a pause and play at the end as well. So the way that I just kind of remembered where everything is, you feel for it here. Uh, I know that at the very tip, I've got the pause and play. I often forget. So the next, as you keep moving your fingers across, there's these little kind of indents that you feel. Um, and then, so the first one for up from pause and play is actually your volume up. Then you go just a little bit over and you'll feel that kind of rocker there, or whatever you want to call it. And that will be your volume down. And you just, if you, t if you go just a little bit further, you'll kind of feel almost like Braille, like the little power button. And... 
if you just tap the power button. The nice thing is when you just tap the power button, a little voice will actually come on and tell you how much battery life you have left. The way you sync this device to your phone is actually super easy. All you do is you uh, power it on, you hold it for a couple of seconds until it tells you in the earpiece that Bluetooth pairing is on and then you can just scroll through your uh, available Bluetooth devices to connect to on your phone and just pair the device. Once it's paired, all you have to do is turn it on and it automatically pairs to your phone. Uh, I've had wireless earbuds before, not like this where there's a little ring that goes around your neck, but just true Bluetooth wireless, and I tend to just lose them all the time. So the thing that I did really like and appreciate about this one is that there is this ring that kind of holds it to your neck and so if you're running and they happen to pop out you're not going to lose them or anything like that uh, but even so if you're running i do run on the treadmill here and there and uh, it does uh, it does stay in my ear. There are a whole bunch of different uh, earbud sizes that you can put in. You just gotta find the one that works best for you. And then the, the other thing that I really liked about the ring is actually I wear collared shirts at work. I probably should have put a collared shirt on now to, uh, to kind of make the point on this one for you guys. But uh, the nice thing with a collared shirt is actually I can get this under the collar and then the only thing that's sticking out is these wired earbuds and you don't actually see this um, this uh, neck ring or so it's just really cool for me that uh, I have my collar and then there's just these two wires that come down out of my collar and that's all you see and then I just pop them into my ear so it just helps me out a lot at work to uh, if I'm really focused on a task to, to just uh, put these in and just plug away at work. So overall, I'm super happy with these. Uh, they were on sale a little bit when I purchased them. I believe they were $69.99 Canadian on Amazon. Um, I will put the link in the description for you guys if you want to try this out yourself. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is the um, is is how long it actually lasts real time. In my personal experience, I was getting about six 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 and a half hours. So the box says six and a half max music playtime and I did actually and I did actually find that to be true. It's been really great for me guys. Honestly, this is enough for me. I don't need heavy bass. I don't need really, really loud sound. So if you're looking kind of for like a mid-range type of uh, Bluetooth headset, I highly encourage you guys to check this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.